Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you how we can deploy React JS application into AWS EC2 server. So this is the dashboard of AWS. So just click on EC2 or you can search EC2 into your dashboard. Okay. So this type of interface you will get. So for this uh, tutorial I have already created one React JS project and uploaded into GitHub. So this is the project and uh, these are the commands uh, which I am going to use in this video to deploy our project into AWS EC2. Okay. So just click on this instances option and then click on launch instances. And then uh, take any name of your instance. Okay. And you will have to create your react.js application okay or you can use your existing project to deploy and here i am going to choose this ubuntu server okay and i am using this free tier eligible option okay on both and then in the key pair option just create a new key pair okay so uh, write any name of your key pair so i am writing as my react new pro okay you can take any name okay and just choose rsa and dot pem file and then click on this button so one file will be downloaded okay so dot pem file is uh, it is okay so after this i am going to use this 8 gb gp3 and then just click on this launch instances option so here you can see uh, our instance has been uh, successfully created okay and uh, here you can see um, our instance okay and the status is pending now So we are going to use these all commands okay one by one to upload our project into AWS server. So firstly uh, I am going to refresh this page. So uh, here you can see the status is running now. Now we can use this server. So just select this and then we need to just click on this connect button and then choose SSH client and then click on this option to copy this command. Uh, basically we are going to open terminal uh, where uh, we have uploaded our key pair file dot pm file okay which we have recently created so i am going to open command terminal on the same directory where we have downloaded our pm file okay and then copy this command and now just paste your command here okay and then hit enter so it will ask yes or no option then write yes and then hit enter so now we are the server of aws so with the help of this we will upload our project so we will write all the commands one by one here okay this is the project this is our project you can create your own project and you can uh, upload into your github and you can use okay now i am using my dummy project okay So this is the project. Uh, this is my project. Okay. So just select this and no. So firstly, uh, I will use these all commands. So just copy the first command to update our server. So here you can see. Okay. So we have successfully executed our first command. Now uh, our next step is to use our next command. okay this certificate command so just paste here and then hit enter now we will create one uh, directory that is key string so just copy this command and then paste here okay and uh, the next step is to copy this command and then paste here and here you can change the node major so i am using as 18 you can also use 20 okay And after this, I am going to 
रन दिस कमांड ओके पेस्ट हेयर एंड देन हिट एंटर एंड नाउ वी विल अपडेट द सर्वर अगेन सो जस्ट राइट सूडो अपडेट एंड अपडेट ओके सो आफ्टर दिस वी विल इंस्टॉल नोट जेस इन टू आवर सर्वर सो जस्ट कॉपी दिस कमांड एंड देन पेस्ट इन टू द टर्मिनल सो हेयर यू कैन सी नोट जेस इज इंस्टॉलिंग ओके Finally, Node.js also installed into our AWS server. Now I am going to uh, copy the URL of this uh, project which I have uploaded, and I am going to upload on AWS server. So just copy your project URL, okay? And then in the terminal, just write git clone, and then yes, just write git clone, and then paste the URL where you have deployed your GitHub. Project okay, where you have uploaded your project into GitHub okay, and then hit enter. So here you can see we have successfully cloned our project into AWS server. Now I am going to install. Now I am going to run npm install okay to install all the node modules into uh, our server okay of this project. So just write ls. so here you can see this is our project which we have cloned so just write cd and then write our project name so now we are inside this project now i am going to write npm install to install all the packages and node modules okay so here you can see uh, all modules are installing node modules so our packages has been installed successfully now our next step is to create build of this project okay so just write npm run build to create build of this project and now uh, it is creating build of this project so please wait until it is completed so we have successfully created the build of this project and then now i am going to copy this next command to install nginx okay for reverse porting so just paste here and then hit enter so we have successfully installed nginx also into our aws server so just copy this command ls l build okay so we will we can check all the files which is available inside build folder and here you can see the total file is 44 okay and this is the directory where i am going to deploy our project so just paste here and then hit enter so here you can see Uh, one file is there uh, that is index.nginx debian.html okay so in this directory i am going to replace our uh, build okay which we have created react js build react js project build okay so just copy this public ip address select your instance and then copy this public ip address and just check whether it is working or not so hit enter so here you can see this is not working so we will have to add security groups uh, add some rules inside security groups so just uh, click on this security option 
firstly choose instance and then security and then inside this security group just click on this url so you will be navigated here okay and here you can see the website is not running and now uh, here inside edit or inbound rule in the right section just click on this button and then we will have to add one more rule that will be uh, http rule so just click on this button and then select http and then select 00 and uh, here uh, anywhere and then click on the save rules just click on this instances so uh, this is our instance now i am going to just copy this public ip address and again i am going to hit enter uh, again i am going to running this run this service so here you can see the message has been changed that is welcome to nginx which is re written inside this devian.html file so we will have to remove this a file and we'll have to use our build files okay which we have created inside amazon server so just copy this command to remove this debian.html file okay so just uh, paste this and hit enter so this command will delete this nginx debian.html file okay so now i am going to write this uh, ls where triple w html file so here now the total file is zero okay because we have deleted everything in this directory now our next step is to replace our build folder inside this folder okay where we have deleted debian.html file so just paste this file and this is the build folder and after that uh, we have added sticks means we will uh, use all the files okay and we will replace this inside this where triple w html uh, folder okay so uh, we will uh, replace all the build files inside where uh, triple w html folder so firstly uh, i am going to show you the total number of files is zero inside this folder where triple w html file now just paste this command so all build folder files i am going to replace this inside where triple w html file then hit enter okay so now i am going to check again how many files are there inside this directory so just write ls l where triple w html command uh, and then hit enter so here you can see the total number of files is 44 and here you can see all the files which is inside build folder okay so we have successfully deployed our react js project into aws server now we will check whether uh, the project is deployed or not so just i am going to refresh our public ip address and here you can see one text is floating over the screen because uh, i am using marku text here okay so just i am going to uh, show you what code i have written inside app.js so this is the marku tag which i have used into our project okay and uh, due to marku tag it is moving okay so this is the basic thing so successfully we have deployed a project into aws server